my god wow oh my god i don't know how else to say this i'm simply obsessed What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we are gonna be trying out some viral TikTok clothing. These are pieces that I've been seeing everywhere all over TikTok recently and I really wanted to see what the quality was like and whether they were worth the hype and the money. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. And if you wanna see any more TikTok related videos, I will have a whole playlist in the eye so you guys can binge watch that after this video. But that's enough chit chat i guess without further ado let's get on into the video okay so this very first clothing item is actually a pair of shoes that i have been seeing all over tiktok lately do i need this item definitely not did i get it of course. So these are basically the rollerblade sneakers or trainers, whatever you want to call them. These are pretty much like Heelys, but on steroids. Do you guys remember Heelys? I used to have Heelys when I was younger and they were literally like the best invention ever. So as soon as I saw these, I was just like, do you know what? I, I need to try them because I love roller skating. I'm just putting this out there. I got these off of Amazon and they were not cheap. These were 99 pounds. So I really hope that they are worth the money. So this is how they came. They actually have a really nice box to them. I think these are so cute. I guess let's crack them open together. I am so interested to see how comfortable these will be. Oh my goodness. You're joking. Look at these. These are so freaking cool. Like you're kidding. These are just like regular trainers, but then you hit this button here and these little roller blades come out. I guess let's just give it a go. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Are you guys seeing this? These are like transformer shoes. They literally transform from a regular sneaker into these. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that alone is worth the 99 pounds. It actually comes with spare wheels, which is really cool. Like that is so, so good. It's actually got three in here. The inside looks like they'll be pretty comfortable as well. They've got quite a lot of like padding and all that. I mean, I guess all there's left to do is just to try them on and hopefully I don't kill myself on the way. So let's pop these on and see how they work okay so here we are i've got the trainers on they actually feel quite heavy in terms of walking around in them without like the wheels being out they feel like a regular pair of trainers slash sneakers but they do feel a little bit more weighted obviously that's because of the wheels that are literally inside the sole i guess all there's left to do is just to pop the wheels out and see if i can actually do this okay so the girl on tiktok literally did that and it popped out pretty easily oh you're supposed to lock them. Okay, so basically when you pop them out, if you literally just put your foot down, they'll go back in. What you're supposed to do is pop them out and then lock it into place by putting this thing sideways. I'm now gonna do the other one. Oh my God. Oh my God, how am I meant to get it out? I am genuinely gonna kill myself here, okay. Oh, here it is. It's out. I'm gonna lock it into place by putting it sideways. Whoa! Oh my god! Maybe I could learn to do the splits in these. How low can I go? Oh, not that low apparently. It's fun, but it's also terrifying because there is no break. You know how rollerblades usually have like either a break on the back or the front? These have nothing. I'm just gonna try and go forwards as if like I was just rollerblading. Oh my god, I'm doing the splits. I don't think I should be allowed these. I don't think I should be allowed anything on wheels because I'm just gonna kill myself. Okay. I think I got it. I realized I don't have an awful lot of space to actually be testing these out on because I'm just in my filming room, but I am gonna test them out like outside on my TikTok or my reels, so stay tuned for that. I just feel like it's a bit of a safety hazard to be wearing these out when I can't even use them in the house properly. Okay, I'm getting more confident now. I have a very hard stop every time, but I feel like I've got it down, like the movement. That was good, right? I think I'm just 
gonna have to practice like around the house. In terms of the quality of them though, I have to say they feel pretty sturdy. I can't say that I feel safe because they don't have a brake, like I said. So if I was going down the street and I couldn't stop, I would definitely be like, no, this is, this is too dangerous. But for now, around the house, I feel like I could do it. So if you guys want me to test these out properly outside on TikTok or Reels, let me know below and also give this video a thumbs up. But from my first impression, I have to say these are a lot of fun. And if you actually learn to use them properly, I think it will just be such a blast. Okay, so moving on to the next viral TikTok clothing, I have been seeing the Selkie dresses everywhere and they are gorgeous. But with that gorgeousness also comes the price tag. They are like a hundred pounds plus and the one that I've been really eyeing up is so expensive. This is the one I've been seeing all over TikTok. This one is called the Rainbow Puff Dress from Selkie and this was $280. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really feel like spending that kind of money on one single dress. So I actually picked up the Amazon dupe. This is also the dress that everyone has been talking about on TikTok as well, like the dupes that you can find on Amazon for Selkie dresses. So I thought it's only right for me to test one of these out for you guys. And I mean, it's looking pretty promising. Just for price comparison, the original was 280, like I said, and the Amazon was literally 16 pounds. I mean, you do the math, it is an absolute saving. So if this looks anything like the original, I'm gonna be so happy. So here it is. They actually had this in loads of different colors. They had the like baby pink, they had the baby blue, but I just really, really love like the rainbow one. Oh my goodness. This is so freaking cute. I mean, it is very creased, so I would definitely have to steam this out. But like in terms of first impressions, I am very, very impressed. It's got the puffy sleeves. It's got that square neckline. It's got the baby doll kind of like high rise vibe to it. As you guys can see, it's very, very puffy. So it's got a lot of volume to it. It's got like a little petticoat underneath. I have to say the quality isn't all that bad. Now I know it's probably not gonna be as good as Selkie's dresses because they are literally just such high quality dresses. But I mean, for 16 pounds, you can't go wrong. I guess let's pop this princess dress on and see how it fits. Oh. My God, I have to say, I am so impressed with this dress. Considering this was only 16 pounds compared to like 280 pounds or however much it was, I feel like that is really good. Obviously, like I said, this definitely needs a steam. It's got a lot of creases in this like mesh fabric. So it definitely looks a little bit like the Walmart version. However, once it's steamed, I'm sure it's gonna look a lot better. But I can definitely see that this dress has a lot of potential. So I am just really, really happy that I picked it up. Now, I'm not too sure how this compares to the original original Selkie dress, but I do have to say it is a little bit itchy around the sleeves just here. I guess it's just because of the nature of the fabric. It's made of that mesh see-through kind of fabric. So obviously sometimes that can be a little bit irritating on the skin. But in terms of the fit, the neckline, everything else, even like the puffiness of the sleeves, I would say it's pretty close to the original. So this is what it looks like from the front. And then this is what it looks like from the back. I just love it. I feel like I now have to get this in every single color. I need it in pink. I need it in blue and of course the rainbow. Let me know what you guys think of this dress, but I am just so happy that I found a dupe for so much less money. So I'll link it down below if you guys wanna pick it up. Okay, so I know I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon with this one, but I have been meaning to get the booty hugging leggings from TikTok for so long now. So the ones that I picked up were 18 pounds. They were pretty much exactly the same as all the ones that I've been seeing on TikTok, but they do have them in loads of different like brands. Okay, this is what they look like. Like, they actually look pretty good. The only thing that's really putting me off is the back. I know the back is supposed to give you that like really like curved out booty and it's all down to like this seam right here. But for me, I can tell that this seam is gonna ride so high up there that it's probably just gonna look really bad. I have to say, I'm not really one to like wanna show off my butt. I don't really go to the gym or anything like that. So this is gonna be an experience for me. I have to say, I actually really like the fabric that it's made of. It's very stretchy. It's kind of like textured. I'm pretty sure it said in the listing something about this texture being good for like anti-cellulite and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, that's interesting. But yeah, to me, they just look like a normal pair of leggings with a really big, 
thong-like stitch going down the butt crack. So I guess let's pop these on and see how comfortable they are and if they give me a really nice booty. All right guys, so here are the leggings on. I have to say, now that I've got them on, they are so comfortable. I can actually see myself wearing these to the gym or even just lounging around. As soon as I put them on, I just felt really comfortable in these. They are literally like a second skin. I actually thought that when I tried these on, I would feel like bumpiness on my legs because of the texture. Like when you run your hand along it, you can kind of feel like all the bumps, but I cannot feel it on my legs at all. I have to say I'm a big fan of the waistband on these. It's very stretchy, really thick and comfortable, and it kind of like helps to tuck the tummy in as well. But obviously the selling point of these is what it does to the butt. So I'm gonna turn around and show you guys. So this is what they look like on my butt. I wouldn't say I've been blessed with like the biggest butt in the world. It's just pretty average and flat. And to be honest, I don't mind it. So I have to say these are definitely doing a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to making my butt look good. Initially, before I tried them on, I thought that this stitch right here would be really uncomfortable and like riding up my butt, but it really isn't. Also, I feel like the waistband kind of like tapering in right here gives the illusion of a bigger butt as well. I would say they're pretty comfortable. Would I wear these to the gym while squatting or anything like that? Probably not, because I don't really want to like draw too much attention to my butt, but that's just me. I mean, if you want your butt to look good and you don't care about showing it off to everyone, definitely get these. So yeah, now that I've tried these on, I definitely can see what the hype is about. They make your butt look good, they're very comfortable, and they're not see-through. So I'm gonna give these a big thumbs up. Moving right along, the next dress that I have to try out actually comes in this massive box because I ordered this from Farfetch, or was it Netta Porter? I think it was Netta Porter. It's basically the Skims dress, the long, cinching, bodycon Skims dress that I've been seeing everyone rave about on TikTok. It's sold out on Skims and by the way I've just posted a Skims video like last week trying out all of the like shapewear from Skims for the very first time so if you want to check that video out I'll link it in the eye and the description. Okay so this is how it comes. It comes in its own bag. That is pretty good. Look at this. I mean this is very bougie indeed for it to come on a hanger in an actual like dust bag. I swear Skims wouldn't even send it out like this. Okay here it is in all its glory the raved about Skims dress. I got mine in in the nude color as you guys can see they also had it in black but I don't think they had my size at the time so that's why I went for this one as I'm just holding it up it doesn't look much different than any other ribbed dress that I've ever held in my life granted it's got really nice adjustable straps I love the neckline of it and the fabric feels really nice and soft as I hold it up you guys can probably also tell that it's got like that curve within the dress already so I guess that's what gives it and helps you have that shape it then kind of cinches in into almost like a semi mermaid tail and then it fans back out. This was like 70 pounds, which is not cheap for literally a thin ribbed dress. Like you can get this on so many different websites for way less. But I guess we're gonna try it on and see if all the hype was worth it because this is literally one of the most talked about dresses on TikTok right now. I don't know how else to say this. I'm simply obsessed. Are we seeing this dress? Like, are we seeing how snatched it's making me look? I'm in love. I have to say I was skeptical. I was a skeptic until I put this on and now I totally get why this is so hyped over. It's just got so much shape to it like it's not just a ribbed dress it's actually like snatching my waist it feels really nice and tight around this part to kind of like make it more tapered. It's just been designed really, really well. I love the neckline. The straps are really nice. Like genuinely, I can't fault it. The only thing I can say is that it is expensive. 80 pounds for a simple like bodycon long dress. I mean, that is a bit of a rip off, but at the same time, like look, at how well it fits. Now this is the thing, I don't wear dresses that are like maxi very often, so I don't know how much use I would actually get out of this, so I don't know whether I should keep this. Let me know in the comments whether you think I should keep this or not. But I'm genuinely just in love with the quality, the way it fits, it just feels so nice on my body, like I feel really free, even though it's a bodycon dress. It is a little bit long for me, I'm quite a short girl, I think I'm like five foot four or five foot five, something like that, and I mean, it's just, yeah. I would definitely need to wear heels with this because otherwise I will probably trip and die. Now, one thing I have to say is that although the fabric is not see-through, it is a little bit like prone to showing any seams. If you wear this dress, just make sure you wear like seamless underwear or else you might see like the little ridges of your underwear underneath. But I can definitely say I totally get the hype. It is definitely worth it if you have a bit of money to splurge on a nice dress that you know you're gonna wear all the time. I would highly recommend this. So yeah, needless 
needless to say, I'm giving this dress a 10 out of 10. Okay, and now moving on to the very last dress. I know there's quite a lot of dresses in this video, but I guess dresses just go really viral on TikTok for some reason. So I actually came across this dress in two different ways. One, it was always a sponsored post for me on my TikTok page, but also I have seen a few TikToks of girls trying to recreate this dress just because when you go on their website to try and buy it, it's actually sold out, which is what happened to me. I literally fell in love with this dress and I couldn't buy it because it was sold out. So then I took to Amazon and lo and behold, they actually had a dupe. So this is pretty much a replica of the viral TikTok dress, if that makes sense, just like the Selkie one. So here it is. I want you guys to guess in the comments below how much you think this dress cost. I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks a lot like the one from TikTok. This dress literally only cost six pounds on Amazon. I was so shook. It is so freaking pretty. Look at all the sparkles. Obviously it's a little bit creased, but I am just in love. If this fits well and it's not too short, this is probably gonna be like my new favorite dress. So the straps are basically like a see-through bit of ribbon with little diamantes attached to it. I think that's slightly different from the original. I think the original just had like rhinestone straps, but it has got the rhinestones across the top and around the bust area, just like the original. I would say the color is slightly different from the original because it's kind of got like a pink reflex to it. It is gold, but it's also got like a red kind of tint to it sometimes. Regardless though, it is absolutely stunning. So I guess let's try this on and see how it fits. All right, so this is the sparkly dress of my dreams. This is so stunning. There's like barely any glitter actually falling off of it, which is great. I actually think there's about three pieces of glitter on my hands, which is pretty good considering it's literally covered in glitter. The fabric is not itchy at all, which I thought it would be just because I mean, glitter fabrics are usually quite like harsh on the skin. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think with a nice pair of heels, this would be such an amazing like birthday outfit, New Year's Eve outfit. Like, can you imagine this on New Year's Eve? The only thing I would say about this dress is that it doesn't have any cups on the actual like bra chest area. So I am wearing my own strapless bra underneath this. And as you guys can see, the cups are actually like here and my bra ends here. So the bra is kind of like bulging underneath the actual cup of the dress, which makes it look like the dress is too small for me. In a second, I might try it out without the bra and just to see how much support I will get, but there is literally like nothing. Like there's no wiring or anything in this dress. In terms of the actual fit of it, I do wish it was slightly more snatched at the waist area. I feel like there's a lot of like excess fabric here, which is a little bit like unnecessary. It does still fit pretty well around my waist and my hips. I still have like a lot of room to move my legs and everything. Okay, so I've let loose. This is what it looks like without the bra underneath. And actually, I don't think you can see an awful lot. I don't actually mind the fact that there's no cups in here because you can't really see anything. So in my personal opinion, I definitely think if you get this dress, wear no bra with it, just go loose because it just ruins the look when you wear a bra underneath. I think for the money, it is actually a really good buy because it was only six pounds. And considering the original was sold out and it was also very expensive, I would say that this is a good dupe to settle for. All right guys, so those were all of the viral TikTok clothing I'm gonna be trying in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found it entertaining. I had so much fun trying these out. These are clothing items I've been wondering about for literally months now. So I'm really glad that I got to try them out and let you know what I think. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen any of these or whether you wanted to try them and what your thoughts are. I think my favorite item out of all of the ones I tried today is definitely the rollerblades. The rollerblades are just so cool. I genuinely feel like taken back to my childhood. I wish I had them when I was like a teenager because that would have been the best. Just let me know in the comments what other products you would like me to try out in future videos. If there's any other like viral TikTok clothing or viral TikTok beauty hacks you want me to put to the test, let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and being here on my channel. I really appreciate every single one of you. I hope you're all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.